Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to cover an interesting topic, which is how to use webhooks from an external application with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I'll briefly go through how webhooks work and then talk about how I've used it in a use case with Zoom. Now, many of you may be familiar with how REST APIs work, right? So primarily, uh, it's a request response model for REST APIs. Now, if you have a scenario where you need to get info from the remote server, uh, whenever an event occurs or some data is added or updated, you will have to do some kind of polling mechanism at regular intervals to figure out uh, if the event or update has happened, right? Which is a waste of effort and API resources because you don't know how often, you know, it will get updated or like, you know, the uh, event has occurred, right? So this is where webhooks uh, is like, you know, very useful. Like it is similar to the streaming API. Now the advantage of using webhooks is that you can configure them to inform the other system as and when an event occurs. So we don't need to unnecessarily keep polling the server for getting updates. Okay. So now let's look at the uh, use case that I have, which I'm uh, using Zoom. Uh, I have a Zoom account and I want to be able to capture details of uh, people who register for my Zoom meeting. For this, I will configure a webhook in the Zoom account that I have. Okay. And then I'll specify that it should be fired whenever a meeting registration event occurs. Okay. I will also create a JSON uh, code resource in Marketing Cloud where I will write the code to handle you know, the payload that will be sent by the Zoom web webhook to uh, Marketing Cloud. And then I will configure this code resource URL as the notification endpoint in the webhook. Otherwise, the webhook will not know where to send that information to, right? So you have to like, you know, give that particular URL in the webhook configuration. Now, inside the code resource, I will write some logic to parse the JSON payload that, you know, that the Zoom web webhook will send to you. And then first it will actually look, uh, log it into a log data extension. Okay, I will have a, a data extension where I will store the logs uh, that we get. And then we can view the payload inside that, like you know, all the information that is being sent from the Zoom webhook, we'll be able to view that. And then the second part of it in, in the code, we will look at extracting each of the registration details that we need. Like, you know, and then uh, we will insert that into a sendable data extension. And then we can use that for uh, messaging or journey use cases later on. Okay. Okay, so first we have to go to the Zoom Marketplace. Okay, so ensure you are actually logged into your Zoom account. Okay, then you have to click on this uh, area here that you see the develop. So click on build app. So when you click on build app, you will be actually presented with these options over here. Okay, uh, and you have to create an app first in order to configure the webhook. Okay, so um, if you only want to create a, a webhook to notify Marketing Cloud, then just choose this option, which is like webhook only. Okay, so with that, like you can configure the webhook and it will automatically send you notifications to Marketing Cloud. Okay, now I've already created uh, one uh, using this particular option here. So let me go in and show you that under manage. I have this uh, webhook app that I've created. Okay, so let me go in here. And then you will see here, like, you know, there are three uh, tabs here. So first time when you come in, this will all be blank. Okay. So you have to go in and fill in this information. The first the information you have to give an app name, a short description, a company name, and then your name and email address. The rest of it is actually optional in this page. So you can just give this basic information here. And then when you click on continue, it will move to the feature. Now, this is the most important part where you will actually configure the webhook. Okay. So the first part here that you see is a verification token. So this is important if you want to, uh, verify at the marketing cloud side if this particular notification is coming from Zoom. Okay, and this particular uh, token will actually be sent in the HTTP header. Okay, there is a, a value called um, authorization, uh, which I'll show you right now. So in the in the documentation, you will see the HTTP headers. You will see a value called authorization in which they will send the verification token. So in your code, what you can do is like you can actually uh, check uh, like you know if the header being passed with the value um, uh, authorization is having this particular value uh, if it is then if it matches then it, you can be assured that you know the the particular notification is coming from zoom okay so that's one security thing that you can uh, incorporate okay now once uh, you can take a note of this uh, if you want you can use that you have to go into an event subscriptions make sure it is enabled okay i've already configured one over here so in first time when you come here it'll they'll probably be blank so you can go ahead and add event subscription and then give a subscription name okay i've just put it as meeting registration notification and this is the uh, url of the um, the code resource the json code resource like you know, which i'll show you shortly that i built like you know so you have to go and create a json code resource and then you can put that url here later on you can go and you know add the code in there okay but first go ahead and publish this particular uh, code resource get the url the public url for that and then put that here 
once you have these details this is where you have to go in and add an event first time when you come in there'll be nothing you'll just say plus add event so you can go here and then you can choose one or more events uh, for which you want to get notification right in this particular case uh, i am usually using meetings i don't have webinars in my account but if you do you can use those also okay there are multiple event types over here that you can use for my use case i'm using meeting and whenever a meeting registration has been created i want to be notified like you know so it will send me the details of that particular uh, user who has registered now if i want to like you know uh, understand each of these event types what are the different payload options those are also available in the documentation if i go into uh, zoom documentation under events you will should see all the different types of like you know um, um, the events that you can see here like you know, when i click on those you can see uh, each of those event types uh, and the event uh, api uh, the uh, uh the specific uh, like in you know, a payload that you that you will get returned uh, and what each field stands for right on the right hand side you will see here the json format and then the json example so you can actually go ahead and you know expand this and you know you can see how the sample data will look like it's very very useful for if you want to like you know check out uh, which one should you use and what kind of data will be returned to you okay so uh with that part you can actually go ahead and, and configure the event type that you need and you can add up to 10 events as far as i know for the zoom uh like in you know, a web hook here okay so i'm just adding only one that uh, that's all i need and the last one here is activation so once you create this it automatically it will get activated so you have to come and verify if this is activated only then your web hook will run right so any time you don't want the web hook to run go ahead and deactivate your app so it will not uh, you know send any notifications to back to marketing cloud okay so that's all the configuration that you know need to do on the um, zoom uh, site Okay, so in Marketing Cloud, uh, first we need to create the JSON code resource under Cloud Pages. Now this is where the Zoom web hook will send the event notification payload. So we'll have to write SSJS code to process the payload. And this is the public URL that you know that I have actually used, like you know one that I got after publishing this page. And this is the same one that I had uh, you know configured in our web hook earlier. Okay. Now the first step in the code that we will uh, look at is we are going to capture the um, the authorization uh, value from the HTTP header, right? Now this value will contain the verification token that we saw earlier in the uh, Zoom webhook configuration page. You know we are going to store it in a variable called auth header, and you can actually write logic to compare it with the verification token that we were expecting from the uh, Zoom uh, Zoom webhook uh, configuration, right? And if they match, then you can be assured the notification is coming from Zoom. Else you can write logic to you know exit the code and then. add a log if you want like, you know so that you know that you know that it was coming from a uh, unauthorized source okay now i have not written the logic here but uh, if you want like you know for your scenario if you want to handle that you can go ahead and add that as well okay now the second part is uh, we have actually written code to um, like read the entire payload that is posted to this particular code resource url and then we are parsing it okay the json parsing and then we will log that into uh, the the uh, log de that i have here and i'm also adding the uh, authorization header so i have those those two values i'll get the entire payload and the authorization header so we can go and view that and after that uh, if we have at least one row that you know that we have actually inserted because of a data that was posted in then we will go ahead and and extract all the registration details and some meeting details like you know so the registration id uh, the first name last name email id some meeting id topics and you know status of registration so all these we are extracting that and then we are inserting that data into a sendable data extension called zoom registrations right so we are you know, all these fields we are actually going to uh, insert that okay Um, so we just handling that in a very simple code here, and if there's any exceptions, we'll be able to like you know log it to the DE as well. Okay, so let me show you the two data extension that we are handling. So this is the log data extension. It's very simple one. I've just kept one for the data part where we'll go ahead and uh, you know put in the payload, and then the authorization header that you can see here. That's a field for that. Uh, so there is some dummy data here that is already there, but we'll go ahead and add uh, you know two two records. We will try out and then see if they get added over here. Okay, so right now there is seven records here. okay and then uh, the second one is the sendable data extension so this is where i'm going to store all the uh, registration uh, details of people who are registering okay so right now i have around 3 uh, data the people that who actually i tested out earlier so after we try out two more examples let's see if you know we can if those data gets added into this data extension okay okay so this is my uh, meeting registration page uh, for my zoom i'm using an incognito uh, browser window so that it doesn't conflict with my login um, so i'm just opened up the the meeting registration page here i'm just going to give some dummy uh, name here so i'm going to use john and banks so j banks at tidbits 
for you dot com uh, to reconfirm the email so tidbits dot com okay so I'm going to uh, go ahead and register so it will say that it has been uh, registration has been pre-approved because in my zoom settings I have, have confirmed that as soon as I register it will be auto approved okay so I'm going to submit one more data here for Mary Poppins so I'm Poppins at tidbits for you dot com Poppins at tidbits for you dot com okay so let me see if that also works okay so it's actually asking me for a capture because I use this multiple times okay so this has also been approved right so now let's go back to our uh, data extension here and then see if these records actually came through so there was already seven records here when I get refreshed hopefully I should see nine records okay I see nine down here so the last two records let's see yeah you'll see here John Banks came in the email that I gave was uh, John and J Banks so that is there and then the other next one was Mary Poppins so that also came in so you can see like you know the two uh, payload that came in and then you will see on the right hand side so this is that authorization header that I talked about already. You know, every time the the data that is coming in from the uh, Zoom webhook, it will have this particular uh, verification token in that authorization header, right? So you can verify that uh, internally in your code if you need to, and then um, don't proceed further if it is not matching with what the value that you need to check with. Okay. So going to the sendable data extension now. Let's see if it, we were able to extract those two records. So if I go here now, you will see the two. Uh, two people that you know that just we just registered automatically those records also have been added into our sendable data extension now this is very very useful now we can use this particular uh, you know sendable data extensions for messaging and journey use cases later on okay so um, this is like you know very simple and uh, neat trick like you know on how you can use webhooks to integrate with uh, marketing cloud so that you don't have to rely on APIs all the time right and you can use this with any external app that supports webhooks and uh, not just zoom okay now I also must give credit and uh, thanks to uh, like you know, two great people in our uh, SFMC community one is uh, Greg Gifford he is an MVP and marketing champion also Jason Hanshaw um, you know for their book on uh, automating Salesforce marketing cloud it's an awesome book that you should definitely um, you know go through and read it's available for pre-order now and it should be like you know available uh, very um, soon like you know it's available on april 18th so depending on when you're watching this video hopefully like you know it should be available and you should be able to order this um, and uh, i'm also like you know got the privilege to actually uh, uh, review this book technically so I did learn uh, quite a lot from them as well like some there was a lot of good content that I did not know about so you will see like webhooks is definitely one areas that you know they have covered so it is like you know uh, it's one of the great topics that you can find there is still a lot more topics that you know that um, that there is something for everybody who is using marketing cloud that you know that they will get some use out of this book okay there's a lot of tips and tricks um, that you will get to learn so highly highly recommend that you know you uh, buy this book as soon as possible and then um, you know get your hands on a copy and then start using that and, and upscaling yourself okay i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, thank you all for watching